I've done over a hundred of these guitar video songs at this point and it fascinates me to see how in among the long and growing list of songs that I've got as candidates to cover, some of them just seem to elbow their way quite forcefully to the very top. Quite quickly, this one has just announced itself over the last couple of weeks. I've played it hundreds of times over the years, but you know, suddenly I realise what a fantastic workout this is for strumming, first of all, for reliable, consistent strumming, but also for bar chords. If you want to improve the accuracy and the power and control of your bar chords, this is a really good place to start. So, there are quite a few sections, nothing too tricky. There's one or two chord shapes that are a bit of a reach, but really it's about crunching through the different sections. And let's start straight away with the basic strumming style we're gonna use. Now we've got four beats in the bar, pretty much all the time, and it's slow enough this kind of a tempo that we can strum in 16ths, which is what Bowie did on the original. So I'm going to take the example of an E minor. There's plenty of E minor in this song, so that's a good place to start. So it's daka tiki daka tiki daka tiki daka tiki. Now, obviously, I'm not going to play every single one sounds a little bit unhinged but if we create a bit of texture by leaving out some accenting some others creating unexpected up strum accents that kind of stuff we're going to get and you know you could even say that out loud If I turn the volume all the way down, it would look as I'm just strumming down, up, 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 down, up. And that's the key to a good, secure, consistent strumming is having this down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It doesn't need to be too rigid, it doesn't need to be exactly repetitive. The basic idea, nice and loose in 16s. And just feel how that sounds. Okay, so with that said, we've got an intro which has two different chords. We've got something that's called F major 7 sharp 11 over E which is effectively an E chord and that shape has just moved up a fret. That's how the song starts. A bar of that and then a bar of E minor. With our strumming pattern, it's like this. actually fades in so it starts very very quiet and grows and then eventually we have four times through so eight bars in all four each of this F major 7 sharp 11 over E and then this E minor and then we get into the verse now the verse is six bars long and it repeats then we get into the chorus and all the other stuff and we never actually come back to the verse, but it starts like this. We have a C chord, and Bowie plays his C this way, which you often see, I think in, you know, in country styles, this is a very popular way to play, and certainly guitarists of a particular period like to play like this. This is C with G in the bass. So instead of normally I'd put the third finger on the third fret of the fifth string, I'm gonna put my little finger there, and my third finger is gonna go right down on the sixth string. Anyway, I have a bar of this Ground control to major to E minor tom and again. Ground control to major tom. Now we get half a bar each of A minor. Take your and then I'm gonna bring my little finger down for A minor over G. Take your protein pills. So there's a bass line that's moving down there. And eventually that's going to move down to an F sharp here. 
are underneath a D chord. So I'm going to form a D normally and I'm going to wrap my thumb round here. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. So there's a whole bar on that. Okay, so one more time. A C chord, C over G in fact, for a bar to E minor. And again, bar each. Half a bar each of the A minor. Da -di -g -da -da. A minor over G and then D over F sharp. That's a whole bar of that D over F sharp. That whole thing happens twice, so I'll just play that through. But before I do, here's a thing that you might try, particularly with an E minor chord, but this works on any chord. If you want a nice accent, if you like, at the beginning of a chord, just to raise the profile a little bit, rather than strumming down as normal. Try this. Bringing the hand, the thumb, kind of the wrong way up the strings. You can try that in the intro and indeed in the verse, and it just creates a bit of flair. All right, here's the verse. Two, three, four. Ground control to major tom. Ground control to major tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. And may God's love be with you. At which point it goes into three bars of a kind of spaceship taking off sound effect music. It's a kind of interlude. And then we get into the chorus, which begins on C over G. So we'll look at that. I've got a playthrough at the end. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do for the three bars of spaceship takeoff music uh, except kind of stare blankly at the camera but maybe i'll think of something anyway the chorus uh, we begin again on our c over g this is ground control to major e7 time and now the bar chords start we have a bar of e7 you really made the f for a bar great then it's half a bar of f minor and back to our C over G. And then again, a bar of F, then two beats each of F minor, C over G, and back to F again. So we kind of cycle around a bar of F, half a bar of F minor, half a bar of C over G. That's the first half of the chorus. And the first time, actually, that just repeats exactly. So I'll play that for you. This is ground control to major time. And the papers want to know the shirts you wear. Now it's time to leave the capsule if you dare. And the second half is a repeat. This is major turn to ground control. I'm stepping through the door. Okay, so it's the end of the chorus, and then there's another bit, which is maybe a bit more of the chorus, I don't know what else to call that, but it's this bit here. here am I in a tin can. It's a lot like the intro, except instead of just having this E chord shape pushed up one, we've got that, but we've also got a finger on the first fret of the bottom string. So, whereas in the intro you might have played it this way, you're going to have to refinger that shape with your second, third and fourth fingers to bring that first finger down. And it's a bar of that, and then a bar of E minor, and that repeats. Here 
Now we have a section of bar chords that run down from B flat, which is an E shape on the sixth fret, then A minor, which is an E minor shape on the fifth fret, G, an E shape again on the third fret, and then F, which is an E shape barred on the first fret. Uh, and you'll see in the way that I've written this out, underneath the G, I've made it a bar of two beats. Somewhere there's a half bar. It doesn't really matter how you count it, but you just have to be aware that it doesn't all add up to four beats in the bar. Planet of this blue, and there's nothing I can do. Four beats then on that final F. That takes us into what I'm calling the bridge, which is a two bar section four beats in each, and in each one we've got one beat, more or less, of four different chords. We have our C over G, F, G, and A. So having come down those bar chords, we're going to go back up again. And of course this is very famous, and it's strummed. And again. This needs a bit of practice. This bit is maybe tricky. It's more of a knack, but it will come eventually or quite suddenly. So on the last 16th of the first beat, we switch from the C over G to F. And then halfway through the second beat, we go to G. And again, maybe the thing to do is just to say da ga da ga da 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 We get two of those, and then we're into the guitar solo. So let's just go from the second half of the chorus into that kind of floaty bit. And then all that. And finally. All that. Okay, here we go. And... I'm stepping through the door And I'm floating in a most peculiar way And the stars look very different today And for him Just before we get into there, the end of the first part of the chorus, and the stars look very different today. You're actually playing an F chord there. To get into that funny chord at the beginning of the floaty section, you really just need to move that barring finger so it's only covering the bottom string. So you can get to that F major 7 sharp 11 from the standard F by just readjusting that leading barring finger there. Okay, let's look at the guitar solo, or at least the chords behind it. Now, we go back to our F major 7 sharp 11 thing. To E minor. Now we have an A. C over G. Then there's a D, but you're going to play all six strings, so it's D over E. To E. Okay, so I'm going to go from the bridge, from that snappy clappy bit. Guitar solo. without the actual guitar solo behind it. Uh, but just one little thought there. Once we've done this, to 
get into that, again, you can use the pre-existing shape. This time, you're just going to move the whole thing down and again, readjust that leading barring finger there to create the F major 7 sharp 11 that brings us into the guitar solo. Okay, not much more to look at. We have another chorus after the guitar solo, which is the same as the previous one, more or less, and then it changes. So we get this. Though I'm past 100,000 miles, I'm feeling very stale. And I think my spaceship knows which way to go. Tell my wife I love her very much. is a new section ground control two beats each of G to E7 major time yeah and then our A minor A minor over G D over F sharp that we had in the verse comes back so ground control to major time yes C over G, hear me major tom, G, can you hear me major tom, can you hear And we get back into the floating section. Floating in my tinker, far above the moon. Descending bar chords, planet Earth is blue. The bridge. At which point we go into another guitar solo that ends slightly differently. Instead of going to E at the end, we end up here, which is an E5 chord. I've got a finger on the seventh fret, uh, seventh fret of the fifth string, and the ninth fret of the fourth and third strings. It's a power chord shape, basically, if you know what they are. So instead of going to E at the end of the guitar solo, we go to here and then we strum and the original just fades out. So... Guitar solo. E minor. To A. C over G. D over E, and here it comes. Okay, that's everything. Uh, let's have, uh, I'm going to play the whole thing. In fact, I've made a little backing track. Uh, as I said before, I've got nothing for the kind of spaceship takeoff music, so I'll have to think of something. For now, I'm just going to stare blankly <laughs> into the all-consuming space. Okay, hope you enjoy it. One, two, three, four. Ignition. 